Hi, I'm James, and today we have this on the desk, which is a Acer Aspire 5 A514-54 laptop. Now, this is quite similar to the 53 model that we have looked at previously, and what we're going to do is just start by removing all the screws from the base. Uh, these are all, as we can see, exposed. There is quite a few of them for a modern laptop, but it's fairly simple to go through and get these taken out. Uh, now these are being removed, I believe, with a Phillips size zero uh, screwdriver. I have a link to one of the screwdriver sets that I use in the description below, along with other tools and parts, so where you can find everything you need for doing this work. Anyway, we're just going to remove these. They're all the same size, but I just placed them off to one side um, in the same arrangement that I took them out. Just makes things easier if you encounter a machine where there is a different size screw in it. Two left now. And with this done, we are then going to turn to our pry tool. So standard plastic pry tool, this one's been used a little bit, but still okay. And what we're going to do is go to the back of the machine and just press that in not too hard, but just enough to separate the uh, base from the chassis. And then with that done, we're going to go to the corners of the hinges and down each side. What I like to do is just pull up lightly on here, just makes things a little easier. Same again on the other side. You don't want to apply too much force, just enough to sort of lever them apart very slightly. And then we should be able to just, like so, lift off the panel. Once inside the system, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to disconnect the battery here. So we have this tape, which just goes over the cable. We're going to peel that out the way. Just hold that down. And then I'm going to use a second pry tool and my finger just to gently slide out the connector there. To clean the cooler, uh, if we just want to clean or replace the fan, we have two screws here, which hold the fan in place. And this little bit of tape, which needs peeling back, which holds the fan cable. We are then going to just gently ease out the fan connector by pulling up on each side of the tab. Now if we're just looking at cleaning the front face of the heatsink we can fold the fan over. There is some tape here which I don't want to separate the whole fan off. You would have to spill it that if replacing the fan itself but we can clean the front edge of the heatsink if required here. Or if we want to remove and repaste the heatsink itself we have three screws which hold it in place. And by removing those, we can then lift and remove the heatsink. And what we can see here is actually the heatsink itself only attaches to the processor portion, not the south bridge portion of the chip, which is interesting to see. We are then going to just clean up the chip and heatsink with some blue roll and IPA. So we just wipe these down to remove the old thermal paste. So the heatsink cleaned up there and Same for the CPU.
With that done, we're then just going to apply a small amount of Arctic Silver to the CPU. Obviously, processor can't be upgraded on this or really any modern laptops. But we can just try to improve the thermals a little bit by repasting it with some better quality thermal paste. So we are going to press that down just gently onto there and then return the three screws refit the fan cable and put the tape back over there and the two fan screws as well. With the work completed we are now just going to reconnect our battery making sure that is plugged in and in place and then reposition our back cover. To refit we're then just going to start at the front and press that down to clip it into place then work our way along each side and the back as well. We can then simply refit all the screws into the base and it is job done with this machine. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have, do let me know in the comments or if you have any questions, hit the like button if it helps you fix or upgrade your machine and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.